Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we've got this 9 ampere flex volt 54 volt slash 18 volt battery and this one ain't feeling too well at the minute. It's showing no bars and you can see the voltage is a bit suboptimal there. This is 2 volts not 20 volts and if you put it to the 54 volt range which you can do by connecting these two terminals the C1 and the C3 and giving this a slider a little push it's only showing 6 volts at the 54 slash 60 volt range so I'm going to try something here today the usual method would be the jump start method but there's a more sensible way of doing this it takes longer but I'm going to show you what it is the common method of bringing up the voltage of a battery so it'll charge is the jump start method I've used it a lot myself you'll see a lot of it in my channel however we're going to go a different road today we're going to use this DC power supply and we're going to set it to about 17 volts roughly and we're going to charge this over a long period of time to see if we can bring the voltage up sufficiently that will take a charge and run a tool so let's begin this will take about a time and to explain, this is a much safer way of bringing up the voltage of your battery. Because um, using the jump start method usually is very effective but can have a trust. Although small, if they go wrong, it can be catastrophic. I've also hooked up this multimeter to it, and as you can see, the voltage is coming up nicely. So now all there is to do is wait. So here we are now, the voltage is near enough, 17 volts, and to be honest that took about 5 hours, so you can understand why people use the jump start method instead of this. It might be time to put this off and just test the 54 volt range of voltage in this as well. So here we are now to test the 54 volt range. 50.95 I'm going to try it in the charge, that might be a little low, but I'll see it's showing a constant bar on because this is stuck on as well, that's not going to help but anyway, let's try it in the charge started off charging anyway which is better than it was so we're going to have to give it some time and come back to this again right some time has passed and it's still charging I was able to fix this here by getting under it with the knife so it's not activating that battery indicator all the time but she's come up to two bars and she's still charging so the omens are good for this one and to explain what I've done here today so far the voltage was low I used the power supply to bring the voltage up so that the charger can recognize it so it's within the range of the charger these chargers work in a range probably about 16 and a half volts to 20 odd volts so if it's not in that range it doesn't recognize it so that's what's happening there i've got it into the range it is charging there doesn't seem to be anything else wrong with this battery but we'll give it some time to see if it takes the full charge right so here we are now the charger stopped charging and the battery is showing three bars and it's working so that has been a complete success 
The downside of using this method is very, very, very time consuming. But the jump start, although quicker, is sore in the cells within the battery and you take a small risk to your own health. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to put some links in the description for this power supply and this multimeter that I've used in this fix. Check out my channel for all my other content.